Hello friends. Uh, today we will see how to uh, make uh, floral design in 3D Max. Uh, basically, this is the view uh, what I have done uh, in this week for my new client. Uh, so I thought uh, this will be a great uh, something because you know all those lightings and I have done and given the materials and this is the showroom. Actually, uh, interior design showroom is there and. He wants uh, that some floral design net, uh, MD, MD materials, MDF materials uh, net is there. So I think uh, I should make a tutorial on this thing because I thought uh, this was a very creative way to make uh, uh, design very fast in 3D Max with the help of Photoshop, of course. So I'll show the design what I have. Uh, uh, Download it from net. Uh, you can download any uh, floral design if you want. So, this is <coughs> this is what uh, uh, you can download any uh, floral design from Google, and you can take any of this or anything. It should be a black and white because it's uh, much more easy to get a selection in Photoshop. So I just do right click open open with Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this is what I have opened in Photoshop. Uh, just I'll make sure it's on over there. Fine. I'll go in select, I'll go in select color range, then I just click on black, then I just drag full 200 and I just say select OK. I'll get the selection in this thing. Uh, the selection I, I will be turning into path. This uh, path. And I convert selection into path, make path. Now I have a path, this is my path, and I just have this thing. This is my path. I'll go to file, I'll go to export, and I'll say path. To Illustrator, I'll say work path, fine. Then I'll go and I'll say to 3D Max Fellow RAL Total. I'll say save. Then I'll go to 3D Max, uh, I'll go to file, I'll say import. Say 3D Max plural. I'll say open. Merge object with currency. I'll say OK. Single object. I'll say OK. Then I get this thing directly. Uh, I'll go to modify and I'll go to vertex. Then this is what uh, we get. It's a lot of vertex is there, but still it's nice because. Uh, the still uh, vertex are not so uh, dense. Uh, although, if uh, vertex are uh, dense, uh, you can add a modifier called optimize. Optimize. Uh, but uh, mm, no, but it's giving a very weird effect on this thing. Certainly add extrude and you will get a fine floral design. Uh, of course, uh, in some parts there are vertex are not filled, so we can go to modify and go straight this extrude and go to vertex. And wherever the vertex are not matched, we will just delete those lines. Is 
is how uh, we got the shape and uh, we can delete and of course we can do on this and I'll just put it now we can make duplicate like this say instance don't do copy because when you do copy it will pretty much count each and every object and each and every vertex when you do instance it will not count as a copy uh, it will not take uh, much more uh, graphics than then I can say and Now this is what we got the floral design in 3D Max and of course we can do much more fast floral design if you want any porcelain design and in any you know uh, because a lot more of these uh, shapes are much more difficult to draw in 3D Max <coughs> because we can make uh, the structure in spline but it's a uh, lot more of curves and hectic curves are there so of course we can use photoshop for it and of course you do for you can make use of illustrator also and save as uh, as ai file and of course you can import and just you can extrude right away and this is what uh, for today's tutorial and uh, uh, do let me know how is my tutorial and uh, if you like my tutorial uh, you can subscribe to my channel that is keyframes online uh, we, I personally take uh, animation classes in uh, Pune. Uh, if you if you uh, have nearby, you can of course contact me through my email. And if you have any doubts, you just uh, ask, or you can do my comments on my uh, comment box on YouTube space. And uh, see you, and have a nice day ahead.